Very good morning, friends and family in Jesus. Welcome again here this morning. Thank you for taking the time to join us. I hope that so far you've had a blessed week, a week that has been prosperous and successful. And uh, because the Word of God is true, if you have meditated on the Word of God day and night, and you're careful to do what it says, then yes, you would have had a prosperous and a successful week. Family in Jesus, we are all seeking the same thing. We are all walking on the same path that the Lord has, has paved for us. And that path leads straight to the throne of the Father. And so in each one of us, there's a, a journey of faith that we are taking. And somewhere on that journey, we link up with each other as brothers and sisters in Christ and that's where the word of God then manifests and we help each other to carry each other's burdens, we help each other to um, to take the next step of faith. We have not been called to take this journey alone, we've been called to do it together as a family and the Gospels, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, they, they are filled with absolutely beautiful uh, illustrations and true stories of family and friends walking together, serving Christ. We are going to have a look at one of those stories this morning. If you want to follow with me, I'm going to be reading out of the book of Matthew chapter 16. And uh, the Lord just wants to highlight one thing for us here this morning. So Matthew 16, we're going to be reading from verse 13. So the word of God says here, when Jesus came to the region of Caesarea Philippi, he asked his disciples, who do the people say the son of man is? They replied, some say John the Baptist, others say Elijah, and still others say Jeremiah, or one of the prophets. But what about you? Jesus asked. Who do you say I am? Simon Peter answered, You are the Messiah, the Son of the living God. Jesus replied, Blessed are you, Simon, son of Jonah. For this was not revealed to you by flesh or blood, by my Father in heaven, but I tell you that you are Peter, and on this rock I will build my church. Family in Jesus, if you've ever read this piece in the true understanding of how Matthew wrote it, the true meaning of what Jesus actually meant here when he was speaking to Peter, you see, Jesus was walking with 12 faithful disciples at this stage. He was busy teaching them. He was busy guiding them. He was busy leading them into the calling and the plan and the purpose that the Father had for them. So they were all on this journey together, um, facing the same trials, facing the same challenges, walking the same path with Jesus. But when Jesus asked all of them, who do you say I am? There was one out of those 12 that without a doubt stepped forward and said, you are the Savior, you're the Messiah. You are the one that comes from God. You are the one that was in heaven and chose to come down to earth to save us. And family, if we read into the, the, the spiritual side of what Peter actually did there and what Jesus actually saw in Peter. And that that was out of those 12, Peter stepped forward in that moment and said, Lord Jesus, this is who I am and this is who I believe you are and this is what I have dedicated my life to. That is a huge, massive step of faith there. You see, a lot of people say 
that they believe in Christ. A lot of people say that they've experienced Him and that they've got a relationship with Him. But not a lot of people step out in the way that Peter stepped out in this story. And stepping forward, Jesus saw something in him that at that stage he couldn't see in the others. He wanted to, but they weren't showing it to him. And so Jesus at this very moment spoke something into Peter's life that Jesus knew was there from the very first day that Peter was born. And because of his faith in Jesus, and because Peter knew, and Jesus knew, that Peter knew who Jesus was, Jesus announced there and proclaimed that Jesus wants to build his kingdom and his church on Peter and through Peter. But family in Jesus, it's not just Peter. We must read deeper into this and see what the Spirit of God is showing us. That every single day, Jesus is asking that same question to you and to me, to the people around us. Who do you say I am? And once we step out and we say, Lord Jesus, you are our everything. You are our life. We don't have anything else. We cannot move to anything else. We cannot serve anyone else. We don't have a plan or a purpose or a future in anyone else other than you. And that is where Christ then comes and says, because of your faith, you are solid. And you are a rock. And I want to build my church on someone like you. So family in Jesus, today is the day where we can stand up and we can take stock of where we are in our walk with the Lord. And today is the day that I can ask myself the question that, listen Jacques, if Jesus had to ask you publicly in front of everyone else, who do you say I am? Can I stand up and say, Lord Jesus, I have given up everything in life for you. I, I, I don't have dreams of my own anymore, Lord. Because all my dreams are what you have given me. I don't have desires of my own anymore because my desires come from you and the Holy Spirit. So if Jesus stands up today, publicly asks me or you can we answer family in in such a way that publicly again jesus can say you know your faith is solid as a rock and i want to build my church on you i want to build my kingdom on you because i know you are solid enough that when i do build it on you it will go nowhere it will stay seated stay planted and nothing and no one will be able to move it. So this is such a rich, rich scripture in our lives at this very moment, family in Christ. And I want to motivate you today. I want to, I want to encourage you this morning. That wherever you are in your walk with the Lord. And I know there are some of us that are, we are facing challenges that you cannot describe. But in those challenges, I, I want to I wanna encourage you, family in Jesus, to, to, to continue, to carry on, to press through, to push forward, to break down those barriers, break down those walls, move that mountain, walk on that water, because that is who you are. That is who I am. That's who Jesus has called. He has called us to be a rock and a solid rock. Amen. A, a, a foundation where he can build his kingdom on and build his church on. Amen. And so I believe, looking at each one of you, that the Lord has given us the, the plan, the purpose, 
and, and he has given us the, the strength to, to do it. It is now just for us, family in Christ. Stand up. Stand up in faith. Stand up in, 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 in confidence that the Lord Jesus Christ is he's with us. He will never leave us alone. Never. And he is our teacher and our master. He is our savior. He is, he is our Messiah. And through the Spirit of God, there is our strength and our power and, and our true counselor. We can do this, family in Jesus. We truly can do this. So I want to encourage you in this brand new week that the Lord has given us. And on this path that the Lord has put, put us on together as the family in Christ. Let us walk in such a way that Jesus, the Son of God, can recognize us as being a true rock. Amen? Amen. Let us pray. Father God, in the name of your Son, Jesus, Lord, we thank you so much for this day, for this week, for what you have helped us to accomplish in this week, Lord Jesus. Blessed be your name, Lord. Blessed be your kingdom. Blessed be our Father on the throne. And, and thank you for everything, Lord, that you have, have, have given to us out of the gift of your heart and out of your mercy and your grace and your kindness, Lord. It's all because of you, Father God. Thank you, Father Lord. We, we will truly be nothing without you. Nothing, Lord. Nothing. And so because of the gift of life that you have given us, Lord Jesus, please help us to, to make the most of it, Lord. Not to waste it. Every opportunity to pick it up and to, to use it, Lord. Blessed be your name, Lord Jesus, and thank you that you are in our lives and that you have chosen us. We pray, Lord, that as we go further into this beautiful week that you have given us, Lord, that we will just draw closer to you and glorify you even more and more, that we will become less and you will become great, Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord. We love you, Lord Jesus. We pray and we ask all of this in Jesus' name. Thank you, friends and family in Jesus. Um, I hope that you have a blessed day today. I hope that today is filled with um, the, the love of Jesus. I hope that in today you are able and capable to uh, meditate on his word day and night. Be careful to do what it says so that you may be prosperous and successful. Family, how glorious will it not be? To see us as a, as a family in Christ, all of us to be prosperous, all of us to be successful, and to, to have none of us to lack anything. So I, I pray that for you and I pray that into your lives. That today is the day that you will be prosperous and successful in everything that you do and say. So until we meet again tomorrow, may you be blessed in Jesus' name.